Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to start making our way to the Institute. So without further ado, let's get started. Last video, we uh, found out we need a Courser chip to get into the Institute. So that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be heading over to the CIT building, which is right here. We're going to have to go into our pit boy and we're going to have to turn on our radio to the courser signal. I'm just going to take this road straight down and we'll be able to get to the building fairly easily. We won't have to fight too much. Take out the Mirelurks, and then that should be good. And then we just have to take out some gunners. Now you got problems. We're going to take a left right here. Go inside Green Tech Genetics. This isn't too hard. It's just very linear. We're going to the top of the building. We're going to kill a courser. And then we're going to get out of here and go to the railroad. The courser's on the second floor. Kill on site. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there are more. There is a turret over there. You can kind of see it. Might be a little hard to see it in the video. Once you get close enough, that blind will open up with the turret. What's going on down there? How many are we dealing Hey! Killed a legendary. That'd be good if I used metal armor. The courser is now on the third floor. Reports of the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. Should be one more right here. Let's pick up this Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Nice. That's the last one for that. Folks value keeping the old CPU sharp anymore. Barricades, stairwells, and hallways, if you haven't already. Just keep moving forward. There's going to be a balcony up top here. Be careful for the turret. And then over here, there's going to be a guy. Well, a gunner, because it can be a guy or a girl. Um, that's going to have a rocket launcher. You really don't want to take a rocket to the face. Not really good for your health. More metal armor. Also, just a heads up, you are going to need a military grade um, 
circuit board for this section. We're going to be building a bunch of stuff and one of the things that we got to build needs a military grade circuit board. What the? There's multiple ways to get it. I went ahead and I got it ahead of time. The quest that we get will send you to a spot and I believe it's a random location to get one. So don't fear if you don't have one already. Just go do the little side quest. It's not really a side quest. It just is a location you go to pick up a military grade circuit board. Fall back to original position. The course is nearing the elevator. Just wanted to huh? give everybody a heads up. Go ahead and disarm this tripwire. Grab the grenade bouquet. Or bouquet. However you want to pronounce it. Gunner right here. Who's there? They had no expense, did they? Hmm. Last mistake! Tried to take it slow, like, get a headshot in, and I still miss. And I'm still missing. I suck. Let's heal. Before we die. Don't underestimate us again. Top ourselves off. Might as well, right? We don't need to crouch. There's only one enemy in here, and it's the courser. The best way to take out this courser is going to be vats. It's going to be the easiest and quickest way. So as soon as we're done talking, immediately go into vats. I don't believe you are. Oh God, please, no. You've been following me. Are you here for the synth? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is Fuck You. If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? I need what's in your head. That you cannot have. Use a critical if you can. If you get into that before he turns invisible, you'll keep the percentage rate within vats just keep that in mind grab the courser chip help me i'm gonna take out these gunners we're gonna help this synth out of um the cell kind of thing i guess i don't really know what it is we're gonna hack this no, terminal I'm fluent in uncooperative old machine you want me to give that we let her look? out She's going to run out here. We'll talk to her in just a second here. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K198. But I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth. If you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries and all this happened thanks again for your help I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out and before you ask no I don't need any more help 
The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. In this terminal, you can turn on the elevator and obviously unlock this door. I'm not going to use the elevator. I like to go up there. Plus, there's a really pretty view if you take this way. Let's go into this terminal and unlock the door. Let's take this chip to the railroad. Go speak to Desmo Desdemona. See everybody there. Carrington wants to talk with you. Sounds important. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips? Intact? Follow me. Now. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, Des. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Here you go. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa Chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't crash. Got a lot of synths in play right now. Memory here Makes things really dangerous. Here Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Ah, good. You're here. Come on, baby. This Show me that pattern. A Raider gang it? has Wait, captured one of our They're agents. using the same logarithmic function as Blackbird. the key generator. The twist is, oh, man, we, we thought lucky. he was already killed. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. House. Desdemona Soft clings man. to the far-fetched hope that A, Blackbird is alive, Show me that sweet and B, face, no. he can tell us what happened to the saints yeah, under it. the Gusto when we it fell. We got the code! So she wants you <laughs> to tackle <laughs> this fool's errand. Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And, Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Everyone's all... Gotta love when... NPCs completely interrupt <laughs> dialogue. I apologize, everybody. That was really stupid. Carrington completely interrupted that dialogue of Tinker Tom's. Let's go to Virgil. You've been hitting the cams way too hard. Awful lot of rads around. We should get out of here. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? I've made some friends in the Commonwealth. Better you than me. Face like this. I'm not gonna make too many friends. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. 
You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being... normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Let's head to... Sanctuary. And we're going to start building this stuff. This is where the military grade... Um... Circuit board is going to come in handy. What do you need, General? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. But they're worried the super mutants will come back in force. You better get over there before it's too late. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh... It'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it, but it's going to take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind... I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Sturgis. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this? 
It all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Getting cold feet? I don't blame you. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh, uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh... Just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. And we have made it into the Institute. Also, I want to apologize, you do need a biometric scanner as well. But again, that will send you on a mission to uh, get all that stuff. Not Again, it's not really a mission, it, it just it sends you over there. Let's go in here, I'm actually going to show you what I do in the terminal. We need to upload a holotape, and that holotape will be the network scanner. We're going to initiate network scan. Eject the hollow tape, and then we can exit. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son.
Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. Father, what's it's going me. on? What's happening? I'm... I'm your dad. Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please! Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know, I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now it's Lita. <laughs> it... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations 
that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. I don't want to hear any more right now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. So we're not going to actually side with the Institute. And I went the wrong way. We're actually supposed to go through this door. Oopsie poopsie. Let's go up the stairs here. We're not going to side with the Institute. We're just coming in here to grab the serum. Grab a magazine. And then we're going to get out of here and get vilified by the Institute. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Operating at full capacity. Perfect. Here's the last astoundingly awesome tales, and this is actually a really good one. Um, dog meat, if that is your companion that you're rolling with, will take 10% less damage. If you're doing a lone wanderer build, that magazine can help out a lot. Is it because you can still have the lone wandering alone wanderer perk and uh, have dog meat tag along. Let's go to the bioscience. Have you had time to examine my latest reports on batch 274? Not yet. I've been reviewing father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. So if you want, you can go through the FEV lab that way. And you'll kill a bunch of uh, synths and uh, turrets and all that good stuff. Um, or, well, I don't think they're synths. I think they're robots. Instead, we're going to hack this terminal. Let's go inside the FEV lab. We're going to listen to three holotapes. And this is uh, kind of Virgil's backstory. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August, 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. 
Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. But, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just received another batch of subjects. But as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Let's grab the experimental serum. This will be for Virgil. And then we are going to get out of here. Here comes the point of no return. If you want to go with the Institute ending, you don't want to do this. Is this a synth? It is. Contact detected. Fascinating. Everybody's going to become hostile. Just take the elevator up. You'll be alright. When we get to the top, we will have to fight, I believe, two synths? Pretty sure it's two. Following Institute protocol. Eliminating hostile. <coughs> Primary synth. Got them taken care of. Let's get out of here. And then we're going to head to Virgil and end the video. Let's head over to Virgil and we're going to give him the serum.
Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing! And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it! That's really it! All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. That's... good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. Alright. Here we go. And now... we wait. It'll work. Don't worry. I hope so. We just have to let the retrovirus run its course. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. So, after a few days, you can come back and you can talk to Virgil, and he'll be cured. With that being done, we are going to end the video. I want to start off by apologizing for um, Tinker Tom's dialogue being interrupted by Carrington and then Father's dialogue being cut off for some reason. Hopefully that doesn't happen in all of your playthrough. Um, all of yours playthrough. Jeez, can't talk. <laughs> all right, now that we got that out of the way, I want to tell everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. And also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.